Oh, everybody, and welcome back to Vandal Esports. I am Colby. I'm Amelia, and, and we are heading into the grand finale of is the Is this tournament. grand finals? This is grand finals. I, was I believe so, uh, is right? It, I, then again, I only heard that once. It might just be finals. Yeah, it might be. It might not be. But today we are playing Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. Their record right now is currently 6-0, and oh, correct? That's yes. what that is. And then, whereas us... We're here at five and one, I believe. Probably one of our was losses was against Southern Alabama. That is our yeah. only loss. Yeah. Our only loss here against them, headed into this grand final. But it's something to be very interesting. I know both teams have probably been improving. We've definitely been playing pretty good. I mean, we're in the grand final, so we have to have been playing good. It's number one and number two up against each other once again. Yeah. And we're heading into the next match with our hunter playing Falco against the SAIT Palatina. Palatina, which of is very good, go! took out seven stocks in their last time. Yes, in one game. It was very impressive. Here we are doing a, a button check. I don't know if we're going to head straight to the uh, match or if we're going to start over, but I guess we'll see. We still have some time. Who are our other mains? So, on Sace's side, we have... Put Wow, how do you say that? Palatina. Palatina. There we go. And then we have Hero, Falco, and Captain Falco. Definitely Captain looks like Falcon. Captain Falcon. Wow. I, <laughs> yep. Okay. I yeah, can read like today. I can read today so good. Um, definitely looks... I don't know for sure if that's their lineup that's coming up, but it, they, those moment. are their top four that they're going to be presenting here. Maybe put others, but... Here in the grand final, you're probably not going to want to be doing that, so those are probably going to be the four that we're seeing. I mean, we do have a few players themselves who have switched out who their mains are going to be, Yeah. so we might see some changes, but so far it's Palatina who we're familiar with. She is, a v well, the player is very good with this character, knows them very well, and we should be seeing something very interesting. Here we are at the start, there's that teleport, some jabs back and forth, nice! I believe up air from Falco. Trading blows here. Now we're about equal percentage wise, equal stock wise. So no real advantage other than Palatina got that damage up back to 66% on Falco. Keeping that edge guard. Here's Falco coming back to stage. Got the center. Sick. Nice recovery. Nice shield by Falco. Then, ooh, Some apps, juggling. Apps, apps there. And. Like we're dodging around each other, not really landing all our hits, except oh. Falco getting Palatina not off the edge, but Palatina is able to recover safely. But Falco is not letting up the pressure. There's that up smash again, really hitting those nicely. He's really trying to keep in the air. Mm -hmm. Falco is very good with juggling characters, and it's Palatina. And there we go, the taking off that stock. first stock. There we go, Vandals. Yeah, very impressive showing, and we're still under 100% damage, so. We're looking fairly good here on beginning hits. Palatine is already getting up to 33%. Not dangerous territory, but certainly wrapping up some damage. Here's uh, Falco staying at 97. Nothing, yeah, definitely. It's very good that we're seeing our Vandal stay down under that wall. Keep bringing up that score. Yeah, Palatina already at 79%, while Falco is sticking to 97. Some recovery from Palatina, but gets knocked right back off. Oh, nice combo by Falco, and then using the gun to uh, keep Palatina off the stage. Nice edge guarding throws. Palatina, I believe, is that a grab? I think that's a grab. Oh. Launching Falco across the stage. Palatina is now in the position to edge guard, but Falco recovers nicely. Gets Knocked almost off stage. Oh, yeah, and but then able to get that finish at that distance. Yeah, not quite traded equally, but you know what? We are down to equal stocks. Palatina at 121% dangerous territory. Falco down to 20%. He has the advantage here. He just needs to start getting hits on Palatina again, avoid those combos. Ooh, there's Falco knocking Palatina off stage. Now it's off stage battle. Oh, there we go. Yes, sending off to the left. Way to go. That second stock second taken stock. off Palatina. Looking to uh, meet that stock trade, but failing as Falco is able to rack up almost <laughs> equal damage near instantly. This is amazing showing from Hunter. 
here we have back to center stage. Palatina taking uh, dealing oh, some damage. Oh, oh got to get that recovery. That. Gets, doesn't fight, get the recovery. Gets knocked off. Taking off that second one for our vandals. Yeah, we are now once again equal, but Falco is returning that damage, getting Palatina up to 91%, but staying low into 11%, recovering, and honestly, nice edge guarding from Palatina back to center stage. Uh, trading blows here. Nice shielding, popping around each other, and now using the gun to keep Palatina off. But Palatina uses that teleport skill. I don't know what it's actually called. Yeah. Maybe put that in chat. That'd be nice. I could learn something. Back up in the air, Falco keeping that juggling up. Very nice skills. Definitely uh, destabilizes the opponent. Here we are back at the edge. Palatina just trying to stay up. And yeah, there we go. Failed recovery. The score is currently 10-9. Yeah, failed recovery. Able to keep Hunter in this game with one stock left. Going into this next one, bringing up their next one. We'll see who they bring up. That was definitely any bit of win. You get that lead. And Hunter, who we seen won our last hosted um, tournament here in mm -hmm. the... And a studio. This is actually a really good showing for Hunter. This is because Palatina was put up first last time we were up against them, and as you said before, they took off seven stocks. She, you know, I'm just gonna go off Palatina. So she was a huge mm -hmm. heavy hitter. Starting off with Palatina again was definitely risky for us, but we were able to take that advantage. Yeah. As one of the best players, taking her out first was honestly a huge advantage for us oh so yeah, going definitely. forward we're probably going to have an easier time however we will be going into the next match with a stock disadvantage yes we will but you know hunter hopefully is able to keep this ball rolling just a little bit keep it keep it the pressure even just a few one or hopefully even two stocks of this next person will be helpful for the next opponent coming up you know what it wasn't against this team but Hunter has shown the ability to go against multiple players with only s one stock left and succeed. So we may or may not see that. This is a very tough team. But like you said, we could no, hope for yeah. one or two stocks. Um, I, Okay, if they go in the same order, then we're probably going to see Hero next. However, they like dittoing our uh, players. So we might see Falco next instead. Yeah. That would be bad because their Falco is actually pretty good. I'd say ours is better, but again, it's really close. And that matchup might be just enough to knock out Hunter putting yeah. up. So I would like that to not happen. Yeah, definitely. We know nobody here for Randall's wants that to happen. But, you know, they, they're probably if they're thinking <gasps> it's the right strategy to go, oh they're no. going to do it. Yeah. Now I am struggling because Cloud is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> okay, so it looks like one of the players has decided to change their main to Cloud. So this is going to be interesting. Cloud is a very heavy hitter. Uh, Falco has Three, more util. Two, but, one, I mean, I guess we'll go. see what happens. We are in uh, Smash Bill, I believe. And Falco has taken off those first stocks, and we're going to head into the game. Yeah, definitely Hands very excited to see this, how it goes. Good luck, Matt. Oh, that was cool. That was a nice move by uh, Cloud. Definitely utilizing their uh, heavy, heavy hits. Look at that. They definitely know their moves. Sorry, I'm no, yeah. <laughs> too much definitely Cloud. Definitely a heart. Yeah, definitely a heart. Okay. Trading blows. Falco trying to return that damage. Uh, and succeeding. Cloud is up to 63%, while Falco at 34, definitely dealing more damage more frequently. He just keeps dodging Cloud's hits, and that allows him to stay ahead. Look at that juggling there. The up smash. Oh, but that combo by Cloud was definitely painful, but the difference is still large. Oh, That's yes. Falco there we takes go. off the first Falco, take stock. Off the here, almost at that 60%. Never mind. 82%. 82%. But Falco is going to be more careful, but also still keeping that aggressiveness, which we love to see, as that definitely gives him the advantage in this. Uh, we are now at a 10-8 stock, uh, stock count. Falco at 82% damage. Cloud at 49. Still having the stock advantage, but you know what, Falco is holding his own 
racking up that damage on Cloud, dodging those hard hits, using shield when necessary, and getting that juggling in there, which is his real advantage. Yeah, Look definitely keeping them in the air. Definitely where you're going to keep getting these points off as almost goes quite off screen, doesn't quite. But unfortunately, Cloud does make that crit and takes hey. off Hunter's last We stock. We got somewhere where, we're, where we needed to. Realistically, each player has to take off Take out one opponent. Opponent Hunter did that and then helped out his next teammate. Which a is little great. bit being able to take off that one stack. We're gonna have a, a slight advantage going into the next one, which is always fantastic, and that just puts us this little bit further ahead. Yes, we are now nine eight, and we yes. will be going into the next uh, match with a stock advantage. We'll probably be putting in either Asda or you know what, maybe Candy. Asda. What Look at you go. I've been you know our team. <laughs> I do know our you team. You definitely know our as team. As the as Meta Knight is going to be very useful against Cloud. Cloud is a fast character, but not as fast or as mobile as uh, Meta Knight. I've met many, well, I've seen many really great Cloud players, but they just don't match up to Meta Knight. No, as yeah, the definitely. As in, there's a lot of the being able to use that util, definitely some teleports here and there, whether it was recovery or not, being able to get behind the opponent, definitely being able to use that speed and stay in the air to take that advantage on their opponent. It's it's insane. As is very good at being able to use Meta Knight. Yeah, it's amazing to watch him just fly across the screen and then deal enormous damage just to pop off to avoid um, yeah getting hit himself. It's insane yeah <laughs> i wonder what you know I, i'm i'm hoping for hollow bastion because i'm always hoping you're for always <laughs> hoping for hollow bastion <laughs> even when we get hollow there. bastion i'm like i'd like some more please <laughs> yeah you're like oh we're here oh no stay here don't 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 move, don't move. <laughs> nobody fight so that we can stay here for 10 minutes just watch the scenery exactly yeah, that or final beautiful. destination i love watching <laughs> final destination yeah but that is because i am a geek I'm a hardcore, <laughs> geek. hardcore geek. I have a notebook just. You're saying that to someone who's a DM for many campaigns. I am like a D&D player. Th I don't DM. I know you don't, <laughs> but like, w there's some things. Maybe not all of the same things, yeah. but there are definitely levels of similarity. Yeah, there is. I have written an entire notebook about the entirety of Kingdom Hearts, the series, the lore, and all of the characters and items. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You're like this does this, and if you pair it with this and this, and, and then you get like this bonus, and if you, you know do what, there's this one this, game. Is that, is that a thing that happens? So there's this one part of the games where you can make your own spells. And you just have a notebook full of your own spells. Well, it's sort of like it's more like you have these ingredients and you have these other spells, and you combine them to make other canon spells. Oh. So they're all ready spells. You just have to make them or find them, and it's fun it's really fun yeah okay that's enough of my nerdiness <laughs> <laughs> and we are oh going yeah. into the next match it's going to be cloud against meta knight you ready oh yeah i'm definitely ready this is gonna be exciting uh, it's definitely gonna be interesting you want to see a lot of that movement coming from meta knight which I, we know as it can do i'm definitely just gonna have to I continue if we're gonna keeping that up Three, two, probably one, not we'll be fine go! We got some support from the crowd here as we head into the next match. Remember, the stock count is 9-8 as we start this. A little bit of a button check, but we're probably going to go straight to battle as we uh, see here. Meta Knight immediately returning that damage done. Cloud has been uh, first to make hits, but he has not been able to keep that up as Meta Knight just almost spamming that one attack. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, it's look working. At that. It's working. Keep doing it. Keep getting that little bit. Every little bit of damage just helps. And that misdirection oh. from Cloud honestly gave him a severe disadvantage as Meta Knight was behind him and able to knock him off stage, but now they both recovered and taken center stage. Cloud is at 103 damage. Honestly, Cloud is not a character that can take a lot of hits. Yeah, but not really. Heavy hitter, but can't take a lot. Yeah, Definitely. which is odd for balance. that type of character. Yeah, it's a good way to balance some characters, though. Yeah, that's true. Back on center stage, it is 89% and 116%. Uh, 
lots of heavy hits by Cloud, sending Meta Knight into the air. He is a lighter character, so that's not too hard to do. But Meta Knight sending those combos, knocking Cloud off stage. Cloud recovers, but uh, Meta Knight tries to edge guard and unfortunately loses his first stock. It is now equal. And eight to Cloud eight is count. <laughs> eight to eight. Cloud is about 129%. His limit break is... He could use his limit break right now. And it'd be... Oh, there yep, we go. There it goes. Not, probably not what he wanted. But I, I mean, we got Meta Knight up to 56%. Uh, he has 137%. And Meta Knight still laying on the damage. But just not enough to take out another stock. 91% on Meta Knight. 137 still on... Oh, that's nice edge guarding by Cloud using uh, that ability to just reach farther. I forget what that ability is called. I, I need to remember the names. If it was Sora, I'd know. <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. <laughs> Meta Knight recovers, able to dodge further on the screen, and is able to take out uh, Cloud's second stock, but, but Cloud goes. immediately returns the stock exchange. Here we are back. Both uh, players are on their last stock. Meta Knight equalizes the uh, percent damage, but both are in rather safe territory. Cloud is immediately going for heavy hits. There we go. Not letting Meta Knight uh, make his attacks. Nice juggling by Cloud there. Meta Knight trying to retaliate, but just not getting the room to breathe. Recovers. Cloud waits for him rather than edge guarding properly. And that does not turn to an advantage for him as Meta Knight immediately starts laying on the damage. There's those hits, knocking him off stage. Here we have Meta Knight still hitting those. Uh, I believe those just regular attacks? Yeah, definitely. I think so. I think that where we saw that little bit of rather than edge guarding waiting. Definitely brought the advantage into Azzy's favor as you like let them get comfortable. Even though you're up at the oh, but yeah. unfortunately, Dang it. Uh, Cloud landed that crit and uh, took off that final stock from Azda. It is now six seven in the SAIT's favor. Yeah, here we go, going into here into the into this next round. Cloud gonna keep continuing now, able to take off one stock from Hunter and now all three from Azda. Definitely gonna keep fighting here. It's definitely gonna be. I don't know what our lineup how. is tonight, so it's either going to be Dipe or Candy. It's probably... <laughs> it might be Shiny Shoes, too. We Oh, it's going to be Shiny. Production, let me guess. Let me guess. Let us have fun. <laughs> I like making yes, a guess no. and then being right, because yeah. I'm usually right. I just didn't know who was in the lineup tonight. Someone uh, needed to knock you down a couple of pegs with your ego. Um, <laughs> I have a huge I like ego. I love guessing and then being right because, like, I'm always right. I'm not that always right. That was the right. energy that that gave right there. Thank you. I need it. Okay. I need a big ego to make up for my lack of self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> that is so relatable. <laughs> okay. It looks um, like we're picking up the next <laughs> stage. Yeah, definitely. Can you predict it? Which stage are they going to do? One of them. Uh, I'm, that's guaranteed to be right answer. That is, <laughs> no, it's, okay, I'm going to pick uh, Battlefield. Battlefield? Looks like we're going Mario, just kidding. I, yeah, I have no idea. Okay, there's also PS2, I which is a traditional one. Uh, there are certain ones that are um, NACE approved. Battlefield, Small Battlefield, PS2, Hollow Bastion, uh, Smashville, Town and City. Um, I can't hear you. Okay. Oh, FD, yeah. I um, have no idea what I have no idea which ones are approved. It's been a while since I've been on screen. I know it's Final Destination. Back. Final Destination. Uh, then the center one that I'm looking at that looks like a giant. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, the one in the center. It's four up, five in. One, so two, six three, in. Four. I forget what that one's oh, called. Oh, the yeah, I can see it. Looks like it's almost got a clock in the background. Uh no, it's um stained glass and it's a giant oh, stained okay. glass arena and uh, yeah. 
I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's also one of the ones that I like. Not as much as Hollow Bastion or Final Destination. Tell us what it is. Chat. Yeah, which, chat. Which one is that? The stained we'll glass one, like in the middle. Four up, six in. Yes. From the bottom. Are we picking bum, music bum. here? I think we're picking music. Yes, we are picking music. We. So we are doing shiny shoes. Shiny shoes is probably going to play. Yep, Mr. Game and Watch, who he has been maining recently. <laughs> It's still really good, but um, I still prefer his Rosalina, but that's just me. Yeah. I'm more familiar with his Rosalina, and I feel more comfortable with his Rosalina, but it also gives us the advantage because they haven't seen our Mr. Game & Watch. Yeah, that is very true. Being able to bring that new character that's somewhere I'm familiar maybe not going against another teams, but not expecting it from us is definitely going to be an advantage in our favor. Mm-hmm. And we are heading into the next match. Remember, we have a significant stock advantage here. Of one. More down one. We have three stocks. Oh, against well, one I'm <laughs> Is it against one? Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, okay. Stock. It's just, okay. It's a significant stock advantage. Yeah. I, In this I game. see what you were talking about now. Yeah. Okay. I was like. You uh, catch my drift now? I do catch it. Okay, it looks like we're starting immediately. Game and Watch using his shield. Uh, Cloud going for that aggressive stance, which has been beneficial to him. But uh, Mr. Game and Watch is very util oriented, and it's honestly beneficial for him. That bomb did not go well, uh, but Shiny Shoes is definitely recovering, using that shield really well. Just laying on damage, but taking a lot himself. Look at that 56 to 34. Retaliating nicely, he just needs to. Oh, there we go. We have equal damage now. Back to center stage, hopping around everywhere, really utilizing yeah. all the space that they have. There's a wasted shield from Cloud, but his limits full, so that does give him an advantage in damage and speed, also some ability. But you know, it oh. does not matter to Game and Watch. <laughs> yeah. Except able to use that parachute to stay up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Recovers nicely from Game and Watch, but Cloud is at the edge, ready to do that down smash, and uh, sends Mr. Game and Watch to 116%, taking off his first stock. This Cloud is really good. Oh, look at that util from uh, and edge guarding. I've seen him do that move so many times, where he yeah. and takes off the final able stock from Cloud. Stock yeah, it is now. Five, six. Able to edge guard perfectly. Well, pretty close to perfectly there, letting him get up a bit, but then able to quickly take off that last stock. Definitely going to be good in our favor. We're still down one stock overall, but getting onto this next player, definitely going to be. We better. will be at a slight dif disadvantage here. Just a second. But, I mean, I wonder if that was their hero player and they're going to send. That might have been their Captain Falcon player. Really? Maybe. I mean, it depends who we see next. Yeah. Um, I believe that... Well, you're down to two now. You have two guesses. Yeah, but they might not have those players anymore. They might have changed. That is very, very true. See, this is why if you just go... They can get... They'll play one of the people that you can select. That is That's correct. True. You know this what? I'm going to pick... technically correct. I'm going to say heroes next. Unless heroes that was next. hero. <laughs> Unless that was hero. You like, <laughs> like, you gotta be confident. I believe in you. I'm trust your trust your intuition. Okay, I'm confident with. I want our you team. to rub some stones together. I don't trust have your stones. <laughs> <laughs> Just get some intuition. Just meditate yeah. maybe a bit. I don't. Home. <laughs> <Just> home. <laughs> All right. We are now an ASMR stream. No, we are not. Oh. As much as you want it to be, that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Because remember, I, I hear you this too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you don't like my home? No, I just don't like ASMR that much. <laughs> I can be a car. Vroom. No. That's ASMR right there. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, you're making production uncomfy. <laughs> <laughs> production loves it. No, not. <laughs> oh. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. 
I make me nah, same <laughs> feelings mutual on that part. The last part. Is that last part? Yeah. That's me for me. Yeah, me for me exactly. Me for me. <laughs> me for me. Not not Aiden making me, it's me for me. <laughs> yep. Looks like we're heading into Definitely. the next match with that map that I was telling you about that I don't remember the name of, but I really like. <laughs> um, it is a map. Oh, Captain Falcon's next. Captain Falcon. And it looks like we're heading to the next match. And remember, we are at a slight stock disadvantage. Total stock count at 5-6. We'll be going in with two three, stocks. They'll be three. Two, yes. And this one, Captain Falcon's actually go. doing good. Taking off that first stock, and we will be heading into battle. Maybe. Maybe. I guess a no. pretend recovery uh, from Falcon? Uh, I, we might be doing a button check. Which is Maybe. weird, because we already took off one of uh, his stocks. I, d I don't know what's going stock? on. One of uh, yeah, Game & Watches. very confused. <laughs> and really? it is a button check? It okay. A button check, yes. I am oh. now in control. That's that's great. Okay. And we are now heading into the actual map as uh, the button check is over. Here we are. Did that just add a lot of stress to you for no yes. reason? Do you want me to do that? <laughs> no, it's fine. I got it. We can switch keyboards and still look cool. It's okay. <laughs> I already have my fingers We both up. have our own keyboards. Setting up for that first stock taken out. We are going into the match. Here we have uh, Captain Falcon preparing himself. Nice comp, uh, nice attack by Game & Watch. Returned by Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon at 20% now from the Utah Game & Watch. There's 56% uh, on him, while Game & Watch has 11%. Severe uh, damage disadvantage. However, there is still a stock advantage in favor of Falco, which is probably why uh, Shiny Shoes is playing so aggressively, sending Captain Falcon way off stage, but he recovers back to center, and now knocking Game & Watch everywhere, but he is able to stay on stage. Here we are just jumping around each other. Uh, trying to find an opening, and Captain Falcon capitalizes, getting uh, Game & Watch at 67%. Game & Watch makes a huge hit, getting Captain Falcon to 123. Captain Falcon knocks Game & Watch off stage. Uh, Game & Watch recovers. He tries to edge guard, but Game & Watch gets a perfect crit and takes off Captain Falcon's first stock and immediately starts dealing more damage, doing that awful air juggling up air skill that I've seen him do. Oh, that was brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Game & Watch is at 105%, and as a lighter character, he has to be careful about that. And he, as I said, he got knocked off and is on his final stock, but uh, Captain Falcon is at 80%, 106% on his second stock, and uh, Game & Watch is doing that yes, edge guarding, and that edge one. guarding is so good that he takes we off a second stock. We are stocks here now. <laughs> yes, Both you players are. at one. This is very tense. Immediately, Game & Watch is getting Captain Falcon down to, I mean, sorry, racking up that damage, trying to get that air juggling again. Captain Falcon is immediately going for those uh, kicks and punches. I believe that's a Falcon punch, but maybe. Falco punch. Yeah. I think that's the actual is it? audio. Is it? Is mm it? -hmm. Huh. Uh, 40% on Captain Falcon make that 54, while Game & Watch is at 30%, and... Wow, okay. Lots of trading of blows here, mostly on uh, Game & Watch's side. Look at that! Just using all the util that he has, and another yes, crit! able and to get those perfect crits! <laughs> Takes out the final stock of Captain Falcon. Three for three crits, just being able to get that. I'm not sure what that move is. Able to get them down into the. Is it a ground. down smash? Maybe. 
I do not know. But then able, it's oh. on the. Is it a down smash? It, it is, is a down, down smash. Able to get that down smash and then be able to send off the edge. Definitely a very good move, and definitely would have was able to take off some of those stocks. Yeah, and honestly, that was just such. That's a nice showing from uh, Game and Watch. Shiny Shoes takes out the final bit of um, Cloud, then goes on, takes out Captain Falcon. Now they only have Falco or Hero, whoever. Yeah. Whoever's, I, you know, I'm gonna say it's Falco. They were really good as Falco, so I doubt they would change their main yeah. if they were that good. That is so. very true. Kalos. Kalos Pokemon League. Kay. Or is it Kis Kalos? K. Uh, it is K A L O S. Kalos? Kalos? I think it's Kalos. It's Kale Salad. <laughs> yeah, I like this map too because it's just so pretty. Look at that. It is. Why do you like the other one so much? What? The like waterfall one, right? Isn't that what's it, what's it called? The one Which that you really always want to see. Oh, Hall of Bastion? Yeah. It's from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, okay. That's why you like it so much. Yes? Production? Ah, okay, so I no longer have control of the keyboard. That's great. And that nope. was stressful. <laughs> I'm I'm just going to sit here and type. Yeah? Like, I'm writing an essay for finals, but... Why? I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds awful. Just because oh, I, I have want You know, I'm pretty yeah. happy. I only have three finals. That's I, great. I have one. <gasps> nice! Okay. Solid. Yeah, <laughs> I have one, and I got it done today. And I you guys... The only thing I have left is to put an art portfolio together. Sweet. That is it. That's all I have all next week. Falco's next. Yay. I was somewhat right. And it, remember, so everybody. You were right, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Game and Watch is on his last stock. So, so Falco stock, yes, has a right. severe advantage here. And I'm sorry for the stutters that I just. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to do one of those, like, vocal things that we did earlier. Oh. <laughs> with the end, but then I was taking something from a comedian that is not okay. Yeah, so <laughs> all right. <laughs> let's 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 focus back on the game. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yep. Uh, here we are. I believe this are. is a uh, about oh. to check. Remember, they uh, SAIT is on their last member, and we are down to our last stock on our second to last member. And I believe, you know, I think Candy would be the next pick if he needed. Uh, if we're doing, if we get to three. Yeah. But you know what? We are getting that I check believe reset. in shiny shoes. Shiny shoes can do this. Shiny shoes. Shiny shoes got this. Shiny shoes is really going to be able to dance around the opponent. I don't know. Falco is very mobile. Do, oh, do you get it? Shoes, yes. dance. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Dancing shoes. It's it's okay. You can do that. There's a knee slapper chat, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Taking that first stock off of Game of Watch. And he needs to take another one. Start. Oh, okay. Both of those stocks are bad. I know how, I know how to math. Again, I do art, but I don't know. And we are straight into the action. Falco trading blows with uh, Game of Watch. Remember, Falco is a heavy hitter here. And just as good at uh, getting the opponent up in the air as Game of Watch. So it's really a, pro it's a fight about who can do it faster and with more damage. Right now, it is 33 to 46% in favor of Falco. Also, stock favor. It's really dangerous. There's that reflector from Falco, but it's not in his. Uh, it did not work out for him. Uh, lots of util being used on both sides, uh, but Falco has a lot more uh, up close. Uh, I'm sorry, close combat maneuvers. Oh, there's uh, Game and Watch getting Falco in the air, but Falco recovers. Gets back down to the ground, starts doing those kicks, uh, getting Game & Watch to 101%, but he's not really that far behind at 83%. Dangerous for both of them, but mostly Game & Watch because Game & Watch is on his last stock. Shiny Shoes has to be careful or overly aggressive, one or the other. Playing in the middle would not be good for him. And there's the final stock on Game & Watch. Yeah. Not able to take any of Falco's, which means we will be going into the next match both at three yes yeah, definitely definitely excited to see where this goes again game one of two
correct? Mm-hmm. We don't do five or whatever. I know they change no. the stocks and some things, but the nothing. Yeah, no, we're the going. The stocks have always stayed the same. I mean, in our tournaments that we do. Yeah, the tournaments they still have three. Not the stock. Oh, not the stock. Never mind. Yeah, it's don't best mind me out of while three. my brain goes tired. Uh, these are best out of three, I yes. think. I think they are. They yeah. are in champion. The the bracket Dial. was the one that yeah. was best out of five, and it looks like we are going into candy. I called it. And Candy's main <laughs> is Byleth. <laughs> I was like, why are you posing? Called it. Got it. Ah, ego thing. It is an ego thing. This is this is one thing I pride myself on. I can predict because strategically, that's what should happen. Yeah, that is very true. And it's who's left in one of our best player, One of our best four players. This is a really close match. And you know what? The last time we went up against SAIT, it was this close as well. Uh, it ended up being a 2-0 series. With the first one being 0 and 2, and the second one being 0 and 3, which means we got them down to their last player both times. Yes. Which is really big for against this team, and we're going back to Kalos or Kalos, whatever. Same thing. You guys know what I'm talking we're about. We're going back to the shiny one. We're going back to the shiny one. The shiny one. And the nice thing about this one is there's secondary platforms that we can hop I onto. Like totally Sunk in the chair. Sorry. Yeah, Continue. I, I yeah. noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to this level of existence <laughs> in the universe. I have that got feels grown. Off quick. <laughs> I am big now. <laughs> I, don't I think eat they my can see vegetables. It. Yes, eat your veg. Actually, guys, what I was wanting to say earlier was uh, during these times, the finals, everything's really stressful. So make sure to take some time to breathe through studying because you don't want to overwork yourself, okay? Yes. So take some time, watch us, relax, <laughs> and then well, go back to studying. Or watch us or watch us while you're studying and have some enjoyment. So it's on the background. Exactly. Wow. That we don't mind it other really way. Really no. <laughs> 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 and we are immediately going into battle. Uh, Violet might have a slight disadvantage in this battle because Falco is a smaller character with a lot with a lot of youth himself. Thankfully, Violet also has a lot of maneuverability as his um, sword can be a whip, it can be a bow, oh. and unfortunately that is first stock. That is one stock off, already By keeping that hit going. I mean, that was a failed recovery from Violet. Yeah. Uh, Falco at 34%, Violet already at 28% in the second stock. He really needs to catch up if he wants to really uh, even out the playing field. There's 69% from Nice. Oh! Yes. Oh! I'm trying to get down so That was so unfortunate. <laughs> it was so. a good idea, but didn't turn out. Falco was able to get that. Like recovery with that fire. So what happened was after Byleth got Falco off the side, Falco baited Byleth into uh, coming off stage into an off stage battle in an attempt to prevent recovery. When he used a combo to prevent Byleth's recovery and then launched him off the side, and that is first stock taken off Falco. It is 62% on first. I mean, sorry, on last stock for Byleth, and unfortunately, Falco was able to do a down smash and take out Byleth's last stock. That was a 0-2 win. What the heck? That was so quick. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's really fast. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh yeah, we're sitting here. There goes one stock. There goes two stocks. Oh, we took a stock off them. Oh, wait, we're done? <laughs> yeah, we're done. Well, for the well, first game. for this first game. Uh, first game ended 0-2. Now the score is 0-1 in favor of SAIT. That means if we want to win this tournament, we have to go to three games, which you know what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to do that. We definitely got the ability, as we've seen, get able to get them down to the second stock left. It's definitely just going to be a bit there at the end was getting unlucky with being caught off stage and maybe being a little aggressive and sometimes that were ended up not turning out in our favor. We just got to be able to correct some of those little things and, you know, and I know we can do it. Our vandals are very good at being able to oh, yeah. change on the fly, get adjusted and continue going. As you see, even that last stock that um, – we were on the last time that we were on you saw that rather than chasing off that edge again you just you don't do that because it was we learn ended it. yeah we learn continue um what we probably noticed is palatina and falco stayed with their mains and we're starting out with asda which is if 
that's a good strategy because as this one a, a really good I guess starting player because he's versatile and he can counter a lot of different opponents so whoever they pick up against him Meta Knight will have um, the ability to counter effectively not necessarily have an advantage or a disadvantage Meta Knight's just very mobile versatile character that has uh, a lot of speed is light and can deal a lot of damage in a small time so picking Asda to go first is really honestly there's a reason Pizza's the coach uh yes yeah. Definitely, yeah. And There's definitely some thought behind why doing this. It's not ill thought about. Definitely going to... Mm -hmm. They're probably going to counterpick with either uh, um, Cloud or Palatina because Cloud beat um, Asda. Yeah. But Palatina is also one of their best players. So I like their... Uh, uh, SAIT strategy. They have their two best characters at the beginning and the end. Beginning so they can make a huge dent in our mm -hmm. stocks. Yep. Didn't work for them the first game, but you know what? They still won. So, yeah. I, th it w I guess it did work. Just not in the way they wanted it. Then yep. they have their two middle players who are good, but they're not. Think of it like tug of war. Yep. So you have uh, the heaviest hitter in the back. Just doing the oh majority yeah. of the pulling. Oh, yeah. But you also want someone stable in the front to prevent movement forward. Yeah. So, that's what I'm thinking definitely about. Definitely having that balance is definitely what, w what they're using as a strategy. As we saw, their middle to... Well, oh, who was it? There was Cloud and Cloud Captain and Falcon. Cloud and Captain... Was Captain Falcon in the... Mm -hmm. Because Falco was that, last. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yep. Being able to watch those and, like, they knew that they would be able to hold their own and keep the stocks pretty even, mm -hmm. which is what they needed to get their Falca. Was mm -hmm. it Falco a blast? Yeah. Yes. Do you need... What was that? Uh, Do I need what? Oh, I was asking if you needed water. No, I think I'm good. Okay. At least now. For now. For a minute. If need be, I'll ask production to grab You know what? I know we have viewers on right now, so why don't you guys... Come into chat and take your guess who they're going to put for first. Oh, there's yeah. Palatina, there's Falco, there's Captain Falcon, and there's Cloud, who replaced Hero. So, take your we pick. We want your predictions. Who, yeah, give us if your predictions. If I could start a poll right now, I would. That would be awesome. Can you I imagine? wish we could do that. <laughs> Here we are putting ourselves into the arena, getting ready for the first <laughs> fight <laughs> of the second game. <laughs> we'll see. I'm trying to see if I can do something. I can put. Oh, can I can as add admin. Woo. Uh, Automod key. No, I don't think I can. Sad. That would be awesome. We should figure out how to do that. Maybe production. Yeah. It would be <laughs> awesome if we could learn how to put polls into the chat. <laughs> I actually don't know how. Oh, that's sad. But you know, what? it's okay. <sighs> Google search real quick. <laughs> How to make poll. What's the poll? Uh, who you think is going to be the first up on SAIT side? I think production's just going to get a poll for you guys. That or just Sweet ask the question. Candy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Very here funny. we have Palatina first. Looks like you guys don't get to put your input in. But you know what? I still We're think you guys should have the opportunity to put the poll in. Just because. <laughs> just because. Who do you think is going to be first up for them? Who do you think is going to be next? Three, two, one, All right, go! here we have the beginning. Uh, looks like we're not going to do a button check. Oh, immediate no, attack by Meta Knight. Back to center stage, but... Oh, those... I think that's uh, just the back B or forward, whatever. The combo by Palatina. Palatina recovers nicely, but uh, Meta Knight continues to edge guard. Palatina once again recovers and then sends Meta Knight offside. Meta Knight recovers, teleports onto the stage after baiting Palatina off. 
but uh, Palutena recovers. Here we have some more trade and damage. Mennonite is at 96, and Palutena at 71. Back on center stage, uh, trading heavy blows here. Uh, nice hit center stage uh, combos. Palutena just launches off stage and barely tries to recover, but Mennonite is making sure that does oh, not yes, happen. Oh, yeah, able to get that tornado <laughs> spit, like, the little oh. spin there and get that stock off. Oh, that was an Wonderful. up air? Thank you. Was it? Uh, that move that uh, Look at me go. Palatina was doing the yeah. combo. Yep. That was an up air. But that is that makes the stock count 12-11, and this Palatina does like to spam that up air. I mean, it is an effective move, so I see why. <laughs> But it's also predictable. Meta Knight is 164%, which is really dangerous for him. But he is. Oh my gosh. You've got to be able to wreck other damage. That stomp move was all. He loves that stomp move. But Palatina is able to take off Meta Knight's first stock at 167% and uh, start racking up damage there with that up air once again. 20% against Palatina's 58% after that combo Meta Knight just gave. Whoa! And now taken from the back, uh, Meta Knight continues to deal damage with his great sword, sword skills. Look at those combos. Lots of movement here. Just dancing around Palatina, trying to get that damage up. Look at that, 43 yeah, to 90 percent, knocking Palatina off the stage, preventing recovery twice, trying to get another, oh, but she recovers, and uh, Mennonite is not able to take off that stock there. Oh, nice launch by uh, Mennonite. Once again, edge guarding, but Palatina does that up air into the stage. Whoa! Whoa, being almost shot off the uh, uh, map. Um, how into the sky is it as The damage percentage is currently at 108 for Meta Knight, 130 for Palatina. But Palatina is quick to try and close that gap, making that 125 for Meta Knight. Uh, edge guarding just like Meta Knight, but unfortunately Meta Knight counters and takes off Palatina's second stock, but you know what? That makes the damage advantage in Palatina's favor, with Meta Knight being 141% with Palatina back to zero. And here we are, center stage, Palatina launches, uh, Meta Knight off stage, Meta Knight recovers almost, but Palatina edge guarding there, and he makes it back, but unfortunately Palatina is just right there with that. Screen. Yeah, 189% dangerous crimson territory, and he gets launched. Here we have one, one stock, but finally Mennonite is able to deal damage onto Palatina, but Palatina continues with that up air, bringing uh, Mennonite to 23% against her 9%. Really, Mennonite needs to land some hits here, or else this is not going to end well for the Vandals. Here we are back on center stage. Palatina back to Meta Knight. Not the best idea as Meta Knight is able to get a lot of hits that way. Uh, Palatina breaks that combo streak with uh, a hit landing Meta Knight into now 90% and Palatina in 51%. More of those up air, some uh, fire. Sorry. Some of the magic that Palatina uses. Not fire, yeah. Yeah, I. I don't know Palatina that well. The first time that I saw her was in a tournament. The second time was against this SAIT. I see that. And as I say that, Palatina is able to take out Meta Knight's final stock. But you know what? Right, right down to one. Yes, it's definitely going to be very helpful. Meta Knight did some serious damage and was able to bring Palatina down to their final stock, probably going up against, I'd say, Candy. Probably. Actually, Maybe. no. I'm going to go along with what Candy, you say because I'm not too sure. Candy would not be a good match for Palatina. Candy is a very versatile character, but not a good match for Palatina. We might... Mm. I'm going to say not shiny shoes. Maybe Falco? Yeah. Probably Falco. Let's go, Hunter. Let me see. I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah. She just... Yeah. <laughs> You got this, Hunter. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, darn candy. it. You were right to begin with. I was? 
I don't I don't know if it's going to be a great matchup. Candy is a great player, but I don't know how Bylip will match up against Palatina, who is, I guess I would say, a mage type player who does yeah. close combat there you go. and long pretty well. Okay, that's fair. I mean, Byleth does have some significant advantages, having sword, that whip chain, a bow, and also occasionally it turns into like a spear. So, I mean, that's that's some decent advantage. <laughs> I love how half the conversation is being shown. I, yeah, I'm from <laughs> I'm conversing with viewers. production, <laughs> who has more knowledge on the majority of the characters than I do. I just know what I've seen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're close to a map. <gasps> oh, can can we can we please can we please go to Hall of Ashton? Actually, fun fact about Hall of Ashton, on the Hall of Ashton stage, the front part right there, that black and gold sign. Yep. That's the Kingdom Hearts sign. Really? Yes. I did not From know the that. first game. From the first game. How many Kingdom Hearts are games are there? Do you want just the linear ones or do you want all, all of the them games? In the DLCs. Whatever. As we see you're counting. About nine. Oh. Go Ish. With it. It's not Final Fantasy. Yeah. But Yeah. Final Fantasy true. with like twenty six games. <laughs> What? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. There's fan Final Fantasy, Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think they remade 12. They remade 14. 13, 14, uh, 15, 16. They remade, they remade a few of the games. Yeah. Definitely, like, <laughs> there's yeah. definitely a change there in difference. What's well, let me see it. Oh, 17? Don't call me. You know what? I'm going to look it up. 17 what? Uh, 17 Kingdom Hearts games. Oh, oh no. I mean, yeah, sorry, yeah, not yeah, Kingdom yeah. Hearts games. Uh, Final Fantasy Final games. Final Fantasy, yeah. And actually, Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts sometimes uh, cross over each other. So there's some Final Fantasy characters in Kingdom Hearts that you fight, like Sephiroth. Uh, yes, you're so right. I completely agree with production. Oh, Final Destination. Not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. Wait, hold up. I'm looking up who we're talking about because I don't know this. Uh, Sephiroth? Yeah. Sephiroth is one of the characters you can actually play in uh, Smash because he's one of the DLC characters from Final Fantasy. He's one of the big bads uh, in both Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts when he shows up. He is awesome. He's also really? evil. <laughs> Uh, oh, there are 19 mainline Final Fantasy oh games. Oh, yeah, he doesn't feel like a type. Same with... Three, two, one, go! Here we are on Final Destination. Uh, Palatina taking off those two stocks before going into battle. Byleth getting ready with the button check. And we both emote so that we can head into combat. There's uh, Palatina doing those uh, charged attacks from long distance attacks, not uh, her shots, I guess. But Byleth is quick to recover and deals a tiny bit of damage on her. Not really getting much of a chance as Palatina is utilizing her shield really well. Back to center stage, he is able to land some of those hits, but you know what, it is not, not enough to close that gap. 30% on Palatina, but 75% on Violet. That's not looking good, but you know what, we can catch back up. There is one stock on Palatina. We have a significant advantage here. It is 9-10, we need to make that 9-9, which we should be able to do easily here as Palatina's back to 86%, Violet at 80%, even and out the damage. Now learning Palatina's patterns here, as he was able to call Palatina's shots uh, when she did that targeted move that we've been seeing. Uh, has, there's that up air we kept seeing last game with Palatina. Uh, Violet recovers nicely, sends uh, Palatina flying up into the air, dealing 127 damage to her with 102 himself, really just trying to get that final stock edge guarding really nicely. Palatina teleports twice to get back up on stage. There's 106 damage on Violet using his chain to recover. Baited Palatina off the edge, but uh, she was able to recover. But there's a crit, and he was yes. able to take 
Palatina nice. stock without losing a single one himself, and that oh, is wow. what we love to see. Perfect. That is what we needed to see. What we yeah is great. Able to bring it down nine nine now here going into our next matchup. This is definitely very good to see. Yeah, this was honestly one of the only teams that gave our team a struggle throughout the yeah. regular season. And very well matched and yeah. versed. We see both teams staying, having progressed about the same w since the last time we played them. I don't know how long ago that was. I think it was uh, close 25 days. Yeah, tw good old 25 days since we played these. I games. know that exact number only because I was looking at the uh, Twitch feed <laughs> earlier oh. today when I was gathering my data, as I do. Um, uh, as you, as, as you I do it every game that I cast. Yep. Yeah. And but anyway. <laughs> is that enjoyable? <laughs> what? Is that enjoyable? Um, kind of. It, it allows me to write notes for the host. So you're welcome. Oh, that would <laughs> that would be you. <laughs> I, I was thinking you were taking notes to like updates the stats page, and so like I went to go look over there for like the stats page and like our web page, but that was not even close to right. Yeah, no. I uh, no. I do do that, I but um, no, not for yeah. our actual website. I do that for our um, teams folder. Not yeah. Definitely, it was very helpful. It was definitely able to keep it I'm interesting glad. here at the beginning. As long as I I as long as it's it, helpful, I'll keep doing it for you. I do it for myself, so I have notes in the beginning. But if it's good for other hosts, then no, I'll keep doing it. Oh yeah, it. definitely. Any little bit can help, That's and true. will help. Hey, whoever's picking the map, pick Hall of Bastion, please. <laughs> pick one of the maps. No, I want. I Hall do of not have a favorite. That said, you should pick a favorite. There's PS2. The how many ro okay how many rows and columns are there? You count the. Wait. There are one, two, three, four, eight, six, seven. There are eleven columns. Eleven columns and twelve rows. And twelve rows. Twelve rows, but we're missing the bottom three. So I'm gonna go row. Or wait, column five. One, two, three, four, five, and so this small six battle. down. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have no idea what that is. I don't know. I don't maps, think so that's I a legal guessed. stage, actually. It's oh. the one right next to the Sonic stage. But you know what? That's a okay. It still looks fun. Production? What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I he would just. I'd be destroyed. But. I mean, Sephiroth is awesome. Legitimately. Colby, you good? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Honestly, the same with Cloud. <laughs> no. Is that? <laughs> Sorry, we're um communicating <laughs> with production right now. <laughs> what did I just read? <laughs> uh, production and I are on the same wavelength. <laughs> I am not on that wavelength, and I don't want to be. That's why I said I. <laughs> I am. I know. But I don't want to be on that wavelength. Aw, that's sad. Okay. Honestly, guys, tell us how you've been enjoying the game so far. I mean, this is a really tense matchup for us. This is yeah. finals. Yeah. Finals. It's also finals week. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I keep You with your that, singular yeah. final. I am very stressed over here, okay? <laughs> I've had so many art projects. I <laughs> I already told you this story, but Chad didn't hear this story. For one of my last projects, this uh, it was considered our final. Um, I forgot about the animation that we had to make. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I told you about this, where I walked into my dorm at midnight, and I went, um, so he goes, have you finished our animation? That's and I was like, uh, no, it's due next Thursday, right? It's, it's due tomorrow. And I was like... Wonderful. So then we proceeded to stay up till four in the morning working on an animation, rendering it, and turning it in. Okay, I'm going to say Captain Falcon's next. Did they already pick? No, they're picking right now. So oh, next Captain up Falcon on the other team. I was like... Oh, no, it's Clap. Oh. Ooh. This is going to be an interesting matchup. So that means that it's going to go Captain Falcon, and then... F so they're... Okay. So they're going for the same lineup. Three, it's going to be Cloud, Captain two, Falcon, then Falco. They're not switching go. things. 
We're doing a slight um, button check. Is this a button check? I think so. Are one of us down? No, yeah. This is a button check. A, they didn't. I, I think it's a button check. If we believe it's a button check, it's fine. It's not? So that means we were just down smashed into. Oh, yikes. So that is first stock off of Violet. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, we're back center stage. Uh, that combo from Cloud is devastating. Luckily, uh, Violet was able to dodge it. Cloud is at 50, uh, sorry, 65%. Uh, and quickly rising as Violet is racking up that damage. Cloud was doing those heavy hits. Both sword users are really good here. However, I think Violet has a slight advantage in the mobility and versatility of his equipment. Here we have do some dodging and shields, really utilizing the full skill sets of their players on both ends. It's nice to see that kind of skill set. Oh, look at that bow, keeping that edge guard from all the way across the stage. Now back up. Oh, nice throw by Violet using that bow once again, just trying to keep Cloud off stage for as long as possible. Cloud recovers back to center stage. Violet lock, knocks him to the other side. Not able to really. Oh, and a and crit. Yes. Oh, sorry, not a crit. Not a crit. That was. I think that was an up air, not an up smash. Okay. Oh, I, don't, I have no idea. It's the up air. I feel like that was. Okay. <laughs> really now, the step. The stock was equal, but uh, Cloud quickly answered it, and we are back to 1-2. Uh, nice grab by, or sorry, back, was that a back throw? I think that was back throw. By Violet, and Cloud is at 47% on his second stock. Oh, that was slightly intimidating. Yeah, that was a good, and a failed recovery, oh, failed recovery. takes out Violet's last stock that makes this six eight six eight heading into this next one we if we want to keep it going we got to keep it up just a little bit more but by losing both of those it's definitely be fun hello time night it's nice to see you in chat the score is currently six eight in favor of sait remember this is southern alberta institute of technology former uh first place in the regular season and currently we are battling for first place in the tournament yes so really intense matchup i hope you enjoy it <laughs> yeah definitely as we saw there some quick stocks taken off from blythe here they took their first game yes they took the first game and yeah the, the oh, full yeah. score is current second game. the series score i guess i should say is zero one we are into the second game and the stock count is 6-8, I should say. Yes. Replacing Candy will more than likely be Shiny Shoes. Yes, probably. More than likely. Not not absolute, but more than likely. <laughs> it is happening. Hunter. Is Hunter so we're switching next? up. Yeah, we definitely did. We saw Hunter, who went first in our last game, now coming in as our third which third. is really... Yeah, third. Yes. I know how to count. <laughs> Which is great because the last time he went up against Cloud... Or did he go up against Cloud? Yeah. I think he had one... He took yes, off one he stock. Yes, he had one stock against Cloud. He had one and took off one. Yes. And then was able to lose that one stock. And now he's going up against Cloud with only two stocks while he has three. So going in with an advantage when he's already taken off a stock with a disadvantage. And as a character... He is honestly a great matchup against Cloud. Really? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Still going to be very interesting. Isn't Cloud is the second one to come in, right? Yes. The one who ended up taking that last talk off. Yes. Stock. Cloud is the one with the gigantic sword. No, yeah. That's like a yep. combination of a great sword, Claymore, really and just a say single edge blade. Super but Smash. I have no idea. He is from Final Fantasy, and he's he one of the... Yes, he is from Final Fantasy. He is one of... Him and Sephiroth and... Did anybody else come from Final Fantasy? I don't think so. Maybe. In all of Smash? He is part of a Smash DLC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shiny Shoes will be our final... Uh <laughs> we both just went <laughs> and started it. Yeah, sorry. Start we're, we're start trying. the phone with us. Yes. We like interacting with chat, so we try to check as or often as possible. <laughs> 
I will push you out of your chair. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, and I think chat would really love that. No, I please think... Please don't. That's a clip right there. But please don't. <laughs> but, um... Uh, Shiny Shoes will probably be placed do. as... I'm just kidding. <laughs> as the last player, I will throw my coffee cup at you. Coffee cup? <laughs> that coffee cup. <laughs> I was like, coffee cup? What? No, I have a different cup. <laughs> Final destination... You know Can what? Can it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We are going into final destination. I would like to see Hall of Ashton at one point today. ASMR. Moving on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shiny Shoes playing probably Game & Watch. Mr. Game & Watch yes, again will probably. be last. And we are going up against Falco. Well, we are showing Falco against Cloud in this fight. It is 6-8. Here we are going up into final destination. I have repeated this information about eight times, but you have literally cut off my thought process every time, so I just had to restart in my head. <laughs> <laughs> During that, with what? I've been thrown. You have been thrown? I've been Three, thrown. Two, I had one, a thing thrown at me. Oh, it's soft. It's a nose. That is not what that is. <laughs> okay, we both emoted, and we are heading into Battle Gears Hunter, going for the first hits, but both miss at first because they're just a little off on their aim. What is that? But Falco was able to get Cloud into the air, uh, dealing significant damage, getting him up into 66%, only 10% taken to himself, and getting him in the air again, just utterly decimating him. Here we have Cloud recovering nicely back into center stage, able to finally land some damage on him. Oh, nice combo there from Cloud, getting Falco into 36%, but he himself is at 92, so getting into dangerous territory, but not too dangerous just yet. Falco using his gun to try and just get some jabs on Cloud. Both missing some hits there, but Cloud getting those heavy uh, sword strikes. I think is an up smash in the back I, I was remember. not paying attention right there. It's whatever. And Cloud takes off his second uh, uh, his second sock on a failed recovery. Falco immediately going for uh, more damage, getting it already up into 57%, immediately closing and widening the gap on damage in favor of the Vandals. Hunter is an amazing Falco player, as you can see right now able to just take advantage of what's given to him. Here we are at center stage once again. Uh, Cloud trying to land some damage on Falco, but Falco is just not letting it happen. 73% on Cloud with 93 on Falco. Still three stocks on Falco, but last stock for Cloud, severe advantage in the Vandal's favor. There's that up uh, air and Falco edge guarding, but uh, Cloud yes, gets not matter off stage not a single a stock gone that was great <sighs> falco playing that amazingly keeping all of those stocks bringing it back to six six here we yeah, are that's great this has been very intense yeah we, wow <laughs> that was very clean very wow. clean as time at night put it i was great to watch it was that like falco definitely or falco hunter Definitely a very strong player. Went mm -hmm. up first again last game, but coming in here later, going against, well, maybe, well, definitely a heavy hitter who took out quite a few of ours last game, but I think four stocks, five stocks last game. I do not remember. Four stocks, I believe. Four stocks, yeah. Now, able to take off, did... He took off three? Yeah, took off three, but then it was able to get... Completely knocked out by Hunter, bring it back to six six. Which four? is uh, this is what we needed. Yeah, honestly, that was a real morale booster in that game. Oh, Cloud took four. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, definitely B getting that. Kind of bringing this back to six six is where you're gonna need. Like <laughs> yes, he was a problem. <laughs> bringing bringing that momentum, not swinging it into our f favor now, especially in your I own. Mean, as Hunter's gonna continue, it's gonna be. I wouldn't Good say watch. it's our favor just well, yet, but we are yet. equalizing y the field. Yes, definitely. And it looks like we are picking the next battle arena. I would, Hall of Bastion, please. I just want to see it once tonight. Just once. Actually, no. Once I see it once, I'm going to say just twice. Just twice. But. That's your oh limit, well. too? No. <laughs> I was like. I, it, really? I just keep going. It's like you're talking. Oh, two, uh, just two. Just two. Uh, 
just just three just three just come on we can do it again <gasps> just, just fine <laughs> five we just skip, all of them uh, just all of it and we are going into small battlefield honestly a traditional pick small battlefield large battlefield and uh, ps2 are some of the most common picks uh so it's not that big of a deal yep <sighs> i do get tired of small battlefield and PS2, yeah, though. there is certain <laughs> limits, especially on our end, for us to be able to commentate on stuff. But it's where did this come from? I mean, they're interesting. <laughs> I'm <am> so confused. <laughs> they're very even playing fields. They're not moving except unless you're going to town and city, and then the uh, secondary platforms move, and then that's interesting. I'm a magician. I have no idea where that came from. Don't just throw things. I could have thrown it at the chat. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> catch. Uh, and just we kidding. are going up against Captain Falcon. It looks like they are going for the same setup as last time. Falco against Captain Falcon. I think I can predict how this will end. Can oh, you? really? How's this going to end? Uh, Captain Falcon. Uh, sorry, in Captain Falcon's Demise. 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 Captain Falcon is going down. Yes. Down into the gutter. I don't think we're going into a button check. <laughs> Falco no, immediately not. getting those juggles into stealing serious damage, sending Captain Falcon into 81% while he himself is at 10%. Trying to uh, almost fade it off the edge there to follow Captain Falcon, trying to prevent his recovery, but both were able to safely make it make it back to center stage. 116% uh, damage on Captain Falcon already. There's a slam on uh, Falco, bringing him to 29%, but honestly negligible in comparison. Captain Falcon dodging a oh, ball. Yes. Captain Falcon. Staying at that 29%, getting that first stock off. That was great. No words. <laughs> that was beautiful. We no get no Falcon punches today. Exactly. This is, this is correct. Yeah. Yeah. But 78% uh, damage on uh, on Falco, while Captain Falcon is only just now getting some more damage on him. But you know what? Uh, Falco has the stock advantage here. And it looks like though he is still taking damage, he's not worried about it because guess what? He's Falco, and he's going to start getting those juggling skills in action, racking up that damage on Captain Falcon to 51%. Everybody's dodging everywhere. There's that gun, his reflector, which wasn't of much use. Maybe as a bluff or a distractor, but anyway, back to the air. Oh my gosh, look at that skill. All those colors in the air definitely looks pretty much away from the game. Falco tried to edge guard, but uh, Captain Falcon was able to get back on and take off uh, Falco's first stock. But you know what? Captain Falcon is at 112%. And Captain Falco is just adding to that damage, bringing him to 120. Ca uh, Captain Falco gets 12% damage on Falco, but honestly, it's not enough to close that gap. Falco is once again edge guarding. Oh, I think that was a down B. Awesome. And whoa, that combo sending uh, Captain Falcon into Crimson. He's able to recover, but Falco is quick to Big land a down. Down smash, sorry, a spike. That, yep. You're right, you're right, a spike. And taking off that, uh, Captain Falcon's second stock. We are once again in the stock advantage. Uh, Captain Falcon is racking up the damage on Falco again. Looks like we're going in a pattern, but you know what? The pattern's in our favor, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. 47% uh, for Falco and 37% uh, for Captain Falcon. Uh, Captain Falcon was able to get some juggling in there and bringing uh, Falco up to 79%. But you know what? Falco is quick to retaliate, closing and then widening the gap once again, bringing Captain Falcon into 105%. Whoa, look at those combos. A throw. And whoa, Captain Falcon just. Uh, was that a throw? Was that a grab? I, I couldn't tell what that was. Yeah, I can tell you. But he did get uh, Falco into 102. And then a crit from uh, Falco crit. takes out. Yes. Fa Captain Falcon's final stock and making the stock count 5-3 in favor of the Vandals. They're on their last. They're on their last player, and we have two stocks left on yeah, Hunter. Yeah, on Hunter. And then we have Shiny Shoes right after, who did significant damage on their team last time. Yeah. So it whatever, again, our coach, we said this at the beginning of this game, that these decisions are not thought of 
lightly. abruptly and lightly and quickly. They are decisions that are, hey, maybe present not necessarily a weaker front, but a front that's going to be still be able to get stocks off, but maybe not completely finish. It's more anyway. like um, we couldn't counterpick in the beginning because we had first pick. Yeah. So that's why we put Asda forward. After that, it was all retaliatory based on what we've seen from the uh, other team beforehand and what we knew of the characters themselves. So Meta Knight was first. Mm -hmm. He's versatile. He's able to counter most anybody. Then we put Candy next. Byleth did really well at the end there. Yeah, that Byleth very, has very, been very doing very really true. well all season. So we put him next because he was going to be able to counter Palatina, which he did. Then they put up Cloud because they're going in the same order, and now we know that. And they're probably going to go in the same order again the next game because I am not going to say anything because Caster's Curse. But you guys know what I'm thinking. <laughs> you guys know what I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and then after Byleth, we put up Hunter, which I wasn't su I was surprised by, but I'm also not surprised now that I'm thinking through it. Hunter is also a versatile character. He's able to go against Cloud really easily because of their contrasting characters. And then now he's against the other Falco. Say, I took over your host hosting. No, you uh, you were <laughs> giving your summary and your thoughts. You have been testing this Smash Two. team and been watching a lot closer One. than I have Go. over the last little bits, and you know each of these players better than I do. Okay. So, yeah, definitely take that, like, run with it. It's definitely going to be very fun seeing as we are down one stock here, but we are still Honestly. on our second. We still have another player to come in. Honestly, both these Falcos are extremely good at what they do, and here we have... Um, Opponent Falco just racking up the damage on Vandals. Here we have 90% on Hunter. You know, I'm just saying Hunter. Oh, and immediately that down smash off the stage uh, prevents recovery and takes out uh, Vandals. Second stock. We are down to our last stock. They have all three still. But you know what? Our Falco isn't giving up. He is racking no, up the damage definitely. on Trojans and pushing them to 79%, trying to at least get one stock off. You know what? That's what we need because this Falco is really strong. We just need one stock off. Then, um, oh, that's 101% on the opponent Falco. 115. Uh, our Falco is doing some heavy damage trying to Not able to get hardest. to edge, edge guard court there. Yeah, that's true. If he was a little faster, he would have maybe been able to prevent that um, recovery. Probably not enough, though. There's some juggling on both sides, bringing um, Vandal, uh, sorry, Hunter up to 58 things that. But you yeah, know there what? Yeah, Taking off one stock finally. Yes, it is now 2-1. Full uh, stock count is 4-3. Our Falco just got knocked off the edge, but he was able to recover. Dodge. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, A crit on uh, our Falco took off our last stock. And we are now 3-2, still in Vandal favor. So Shiny Shoes will be going up against Falco once Definitely. again. Definitely. Yes, it's going to be. You've got a lot of pressure if you are on SAIT, where you're on your last player here. You've got to... They've now got to take out three stocks. We have a stock advantage, and we have a fresh player coming in. It's definitely going to be very fun and interesting to watch. See, you got to be able to watch that Falco now be able to defend enough to be able to keep mm -hmm. to keep their position or after they won their first game. Yes, and it looks like we're going back to small battlefield. Unfortunate. I would have liked to see something different. Oh, you will. Did they hear me? Did they hear me? I hope they heard me. Can we, Hollow Bastion? I don't care if they don't care. I care. <laughs> Sorry, I was speaking with production. <laughs> Sorry as I <laughs> got into the mic. <laughs> I'm sure that's a very weird sound to hear. Hollow was banned? <gasps> what? Oh. <laughs> Sad. Why? <laughs> it deserves it. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Not really. I could, though. <laughs> Wait. I could cry on command. It's will you, fine. Will you make that face again? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this one? I hope it was banned. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that the face you wanted? Yeah, those are Christmas cards. That's <laughs> 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 the Christmas cards right there. That's the Christmas. My crying face? Merry Christmas from the eSports. <laughs> <laughs> 
and we are going up to Falco against Mr. James Watch. We have the stock advantage, but you know what? We need to still be careful because this is the f we are down to the last two players. Last two. Yes. Here's that first stock being taken off, and we're probably going to go straight. <laughs> Straight into battle uh, as we see here that instant util from Game and Watch. Look at that. Oh man. But you know what? Falco is quick to counter with that awful combo. Oh. <laughs> right oh, racking up, up down, the damage. Up down. <laughs> 67. Wow. That number came out of nowhere. Yeah, 67% on Mr. Game and Watch while Falco has 49%. Oh, nice movement by uh, Mr. Game & Watch launching Falco into the air, trying to keep him there, but he's able to get back to the ground. Not for long because Mr. Game & Watch is sure to keep him up. And you know what? Mr. Game & Watch's util does serious damage. Uh, Falco was at 98%, but that is the first stock off of Mr. Game & Watch. We are now even stock-wise. But uh, damage-wise, this is a significant advantage for uh, Game & Watch. Not for long, though, it looks like, because uh, Falco seems to be trying to close that gap pretty quickly. Uh, Game & Watch is doing his best to keep up. Nice recovery. Ooh, the hammer move. Oh, I wish I knew the names of Game & Watch, but I've only seen it, seen it play twice. Uh, here's... Game and Watch utilizing space and his util effectively to bring Falco into 115%, staying at 64 himself. That's a relatively safe number in comparison as Falco is up to 127 now in the air, uh, able to launch uh, Game and Watch for a brief moment and get him off stage, but uh, Game & Watch is able to recover as, you know, Shiny Shoes has always known the limits of his character's space and recovery is one of his best skills. They're 132% on Falco. Game & Watch is 108 now. Oh, and faded off the side. Yeah, we are now 1-2 in favor of SAIT. This is a little stressful. With this, with that much damage, you know you're willing to take that risk. Either you get knocked off or you come and restart, or you get that kill and you got that kill right there. Except for the fact that Falco can take so much damage like that like yes, that there we go. one more so now it is one one it is so close now the damage advantage is in falco's favor but it looks like game and watch is doing his best to counter that wow okay we're getting falco back in the air but falco counters sending uh game and watch in the air doing serious damage getting him to 99 percent 101 percent uh game and watch recovers but falco is quick to send him back over the edge Game & Watch recovers again, and back to center stage. Falco at 19%, and unfortunately a crit. Oh, crit does, does not, not take does him not out. out. We are still, still there. We are still hanging on by a, but a second crit takes him out, and it that ends this game 0-1, which means that the this series is 0-2. Definitely, yeah. That was a well-earned win. Definitely. By we we you can see that progress where we yeah. had uh, two stocks left on them on the last one, but one coming to here now and it was really close trying to get that little bit of damage. Just a little unfortunate with either the Falco keeping Game mm. Watch in the air. Honestly, that any Falco is any insane. Falco is keeping them in He's the air is really good, yeah. and it yeah, it's definitely very good, definitely very well played by both. <sighs> I yeah. don't know. And honestly, this just goes to show that um, SAIT earned their place. Oh, Regular yes, season definitely. first place, uh, tournament first place. There's just such a good team <laughs> that Falco needs to touch grass. Production also needs to touch grass, but, you know. I think you need to touch grass. I touch grass almost every day, like a lot. I'm hardly in my room now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's kind of different. Oh, yeah, it's kind of different. Before I got here, it was, yeah, I was in my room all the time. Wow. I but now that I'm <laughs> up here, I'm hardly in my room, my <laughs> dorm. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if he was talking about me or you. It's because I don't wear short sleeves, okay? So, 
uh, we are not going to have an interview tonight either, but you know what? This was a great end to the season. Oh, it was. It was great watching all Vandals and all of our esports participate. We had Valorant yesterday. How did Valorant do? You did well. well. I did not. I have no idea. I tuned in for a bit, but not enough to know how they were doing this right at the beginning of the match. Anyways, it was great watching these finals come take place while we are heading into our finals. I'm sure other universities are doing the same. But if you guys tuned in, even during this stressful time, if you were either at school on campus doing your <laughs> own studying or such, I am, <laughs> I am grass. I wonder you know? who that was in reference to. <laughs> I don't know if I want to touch grass anymore. <laughs> anyway, you guys, good luck on your finals if you yes. have them. Good luck just in general. Have a great night. And I guess we'll see you next yeah. semester when we, we start up the We will see you seasons. next semester. <laughs> we will see you. Good night. Enjoy your break, everyone. Night.